In this video, I'm gonna show you how one step can change a photo from looking like this to having a beautiful teal and orange edit like this. It's Josh Tom, let's get into it. Without using presets, we're gonna get into Lightroom and we're gonna change up these photos into beautiful teal and orange edits. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about one tip only, and that is color calibration. The way that you change your photos from something that looks a little bit more raw and not so dynamic is you go all the way down on the develop slider in Photoshop to color calibration. We're specifically gonna be focusing on red primary and blue primary. Now you're gonna shift them to opposite ends of the spectrum. This red one is gonna go all the way to like plus 78 we'll start with. And this blue one is gonna go all the way to the opposite end. And let's just stay there at like minus 85. As you can tell, this photo has turned significantly more dynamic. It's not as gray. There's those blues in there on the toque and in the background that are showing. But something else that you can do is change the saturation of both of these. So if I change the saturation of the blue, you can really see that that orange actually comes through because they work together in tandem. Pull up some other colors that interact really well with the opposite end of the color wheel. In this case, I think I came a little bit too strong on the blue, so I'm just gonna scale back the saturation, and maybe bring in a little bit more saturation in the red primary. So this is your base layer. After this, you can go back and do some standard edits, maybe some curves, what you'd normally do on a photograph to bring out some more dynamic look. This is another picture that I started with, used that exact same process and changed a few of the settings around and we've got this. I'll do one more live on camera. So here we've got an underexposed photo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the base of what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna lift the exposure, gonna go ahead and add some clarity maybe and I'm gonna lift those shadows so that we've got more of a neutral base to start with I like the way that looks so I'm gonna head down to the color calibration tab all the way at the bottom in calibration once again I'm gonna to go to the red primary and I'm gonna shift this guy all the way to like plus 79 you can see my dog starting to look green not a problem because we need to shift the other side as well so we're gonna to go to blue primary shift this guy and ooh, we're starting to get some red out of there. That's kind of more of my dog's natural color, so that actually starts to look pretty nice. I can bring back some saturation if I think it's too extreme, or if I really wanna go for a crazy edit, I can pump that saturation and make him look as yellow as I want. For this photo, I'm gonna meet it in the middle, kind of like that, but I'm gonna add a bonus tip that you can add to some of your photos in case you want a little bit extra spice. And that's adding a graduated filter. So what you're gonna do is go up to the top, click graduated filter, and drag it from whatever side you deem deserves a little bit of extra sauce. For this photo, I think that it's gonna come from the right because all you see really is this bland house. So I'm gonna bring this graduated filter all the way across like that, bring my saturation back to around zero. And then what you can do is you can change just the temperature like this in either direction to add just a little bit, just a little bit of either blue or teal or orange or a hotter temperature. And I think that that looks pretty nice. It contrasts well with the color that's on the dog's fur. That's basically it, orange and teal color grading, easiest base level in one single tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please send me your Instagram link in the comments below and I'll check out your photos. It's been Josh Tom. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.